in this demonstration, I am going to attempt to create a sense of mass and movement by layering, um, continually layering painted lines. I'm mostly going to be, yeah, just using the different round brushes today. Here's my color palette. And really what I'm going for, I want the most mass to kind of be in the center here, almost like tangled yarn or kelp. So I'm gonna get started. And I am going to start with a fluid acrylic. I'm adding some water and I'll start approximately in the middle and just, there's no real plan except I want more density in the center. And then I can bring my lines out to the edge of the paper. I'm kind of rolling my brush around. And as I keep going, there's gonna be less and less paint till it looks kind of dry. So seeing how, how many marks, how long I can go with just that one dip of paint. Again, starting in the center and then moving out as much of a continuous line as I, I can. I'm thinking about this looking like tangled yarn, could be a sea anemone. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my next color. I'm going to go to this lighter blue, starting in the center. Again, what's going to happen is some of the colors will, will mix and blend right there on the surface, which I want. You can explore any colors that you want and see how they mix. Some thin, some thick. I'm using the round brush. You could do this with any painting implement. You could do it with a palette knife, a silicone brush, a flat brush. Okay, now well, I'm gonna go to yellow. And this is a bit of an exercise, but I think um, it's very non-threatening, and I think it's great practice for layering, color mixing, committing to more of a continuous line. I'm going to come back with that yellow. I was hoping they would, I mean, that blue, I was hoping they'd mix a little bit more. I'm going to go with this indigo. At a certain point, it'll be too wet and you won't be able to layer anymore. It's pretty hot today, so I can see and feel this paint drying as I work. And I'm trying to go with the same movement overall. Now I'm just letting it be really thick. I can do some scraffito in there if I want. So I'm try I was trying to layer on this dark indigo, but it's already, the paint is too thick. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of contrast there, but once it dries, I could come back and I could do, I could do more. I could use this as a background for an abstract painting. So like this one, I could 
I could layer more on top of there. It's got a great sense of um, movement. Looks kind of oceany, sort of sea anemone-like. Also kind of like Medusa. 